Mr. Agnew. Thank you, thank you, Chairman. Um, okay, I'm British, and so you might think, well, it's fine for me because these things are going to be laid down in English, these uh, records of formal proceedings. However, there are 22 different languages in the European Union, and to only have one written record in one language, I feel, is adding to the democratic deficit that is already acknowledged in the European Union. For those people who do not speak English, it is the equivalent of having Hansard removed from their own parliaments. And for those of you who don't know what Hansard is, it is the formal recordings of proceedings in our parliament. So if you don't speak English, what is the alternative? You have to be on the internet in order to be able to access what was actually being said and proposed in your name. Now, not everybody is on the internet or has the knowledge to find their way through all the various links, etc., etc., in order to be able to get the information. So who's going to suffer in this exercise? Well, the poor, the elderly, those at the margins of society, and, of course, the deaf. And you might say, oh, well, they can lip-read. But, of course, if it's being spoken in a foreign language, you can't lip-read a foreign language. So that is something that's got to be addressed. Where will the impact be felt most? Of course, it's in the poorer countries of the EU. And what conclusion might we draw from this? That the EU really isn't concerned about mending this democratic deficit. And even people here who support the whole thing acknowledge that there is one. So you're taking a step backwards by doing this. I'm going to quote for the Bible, from the Bible now. It's all about the Tower of Babel in Genesis chapter 11. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. Thank you.